everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a super massive beauty haul. Um, this is a, a collective beauty haul. Over the course of the last two months, I did do a lot of shopping. Um, yeah, I need to stop shopping now. I, I think I've had enough shopping. So, um, well, I mean, who has never had enough shopping? I think I think us us uh, humans who enjoy it as a sport is, uh, is definitely never enough. But without further ado, I'm going to show you uh, products I've purchased from Ulta Beauty, Sephora, and Lush, um, and some drugstore options as well. Um, Ulta does now ship to Canada, so when I found that out, I was like, oh, hells to the yes. I have to do some shopping on Ulta. So um, I did two orders at Ulta. They came in. Um, I'm going to show you. I have here i'm going to show you i have two full boxes of of this filled with all the products and this is going to be a very long video so i apologize in advance for this super long massive collective haul video but i'm not sorry because i have a ton of stuff to show you things that i've repurchased things new that i'm going to try for you and let you know my thoughts um right now go get yourself a cup of coffee a tea an ice cold drink maybe a bowl of popcorn a bag of nuts a bag of chips whatever it is your heart desires even a bowl of fruit if you're really that healthy um and prepare yourself for this very long massive haul video. Um, I'm going to start off with the products I purchased first at Lush. I don't usually go into Lush very often because um, their products are uh, time sensitive to use. So obviously they're a, a shorter expiration date compared to other beauty brands out there in the world. Um, just It just means that, you know, it's more natural and, and more pure, I guess you could say. Uh, so I did make four purchases from Lush and the first purchase is the um, original Ocean Salt. So the original Ocean Salt is for face and body. I love this stuff. This stuff is my favorite. Looks like that. It's my favorite for my face. It does, it's very harsh because it is, it is Ocean Salt, but it just keeps my face very clean, very anti-bacteria. Um, I, I really do love that it's got lime and avocado for brightening and softening. So you get your sea salt for your exfoliation, your lime for your brightening, and then the avocado is for just kind of making your skin soft. So I love that. It's a three-in-one type of product. I love how that works. You can you can use this on your body if you wish. I personally don't because this is hella expensive. I think this is, is close to $40 if I'm not mistaken. I think it was like 30 something in change. Um, I think it might have been 38 bucks, but it does last a long time for me because I don't use a lot of it on the face and I only use it on my face. So a 250 gram tub definitely lasts me months on end. And even though there's an expiration date on here for August of 2018, um, I have used this even further than the year expiry date and it's fine because salt is self-preserving. In case you didn't know, that is why I, I also like this because even though, you know, there is an expiration date on this, salt is self-preserving. So it's actually a little longer than what the expiration date shows here because salt is self-preserving. Anyways, love this. Very expensive. They do come in a little tub, so if you want to try the little tub for cheaper, you definitely can. But I did pick up the big one because that is one of my favorite face scrubs. I have, I think, three. I have three favorite face scrubs, excuse me, to date. So if you guys want to know what my favorite three face scrubs are, please like this video down below, and I will uh, show you in, a, in, a, in, a, in its own video. I'll make a video just on my, my three favorite face scrubs. Moving on. So I did pick up three toners from Lush as well. Now, you guys, I'm telling you, I when I don't use toner in my skincare routine, I find that my skin is just not as, you know, luscious and plump. I find that it's very dry. It's not balanced well. And I just find that when I don't use um, a toner, it's just, it, it, it's totally imbalanced when it comes to hydration. I find that toner really rebalances your pH um, of your skin. So um, there's less of a chance for you to continuously break out with, you know, acne and all that kind of stuff. So I do have three different ones. Here is the first one. This is the Aroma Water. This is the Gentle Rose and Lavender Tonic. Uh, for everyday use, it helps hydrate dry, sensitive, mature skin without causing it to overreact so if you have sensitive skin this is probably the best one to use because this one is more calming to your skin um, I like using this one at nighttime because it does have the lavender it does keep you know make me more calmer um, so if you do have sensitive skin or you want something for nighttime calmness to maybe help your any redness that you have this is a good one I think it was about $27 Canadian. So again, if you're from the States or anywhere else in the world, it's a little bit different in prices just because of the exchange rate. So you would have to go to your local Lush store or go on their website around your country um, to find out the actual price in and around your area. But for Canadians, I think this was about 27 bucks. So my next one is the uh, Tea Tree Water Toner. This is a cleansing tea tree, astringent grapefruit and balancing juniper, keeps skin fresh and clear. So this one I like to use mostly for when I have my breakouts or I, ha I feel like I'm breaking out or after the gym because um, the sweat can kind of build up on your skin. And if you're not if you're not showering at the gym and you're going home to shower, it can cause your pores to clog, therefore cause acne. So this one's good for the gym. I am going to put this in my gym bag um, for those particular days I'm at the gym. Um, even I like to use this even at nighttime or during the day. It really depends on my skin and how it's reacting around that time. So I mean, you know, it could vary. I could have, you know, really great skin for the first half of the month and then my skin freaks out the next half of the month. And when it starts to freak out, this is the one I, I pull. This is the toner I pull to use to help combat that um, acne 
problem that I'm having. So my last toner that I picked up, you guys, is the Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. Treat your face to cooling, aloe, soothing, rose, and clarifying herbs. Uh, expertly blended for smooth, balanced skin. So this one is the Breath of Fresh Air. It's got aloe in it for, for soothing as well. Um, I... I think this is great for at the gym or just if it's a really hot summer day and you just want to spritz your face with something, you don't have any makeup on, you just want to like refresh yourself a little, this is a good one. And because it has aloe, it does soothe. So if you've been in the sun all day, the aloe in this will really help soothe the sun exposure that you had from the day you had outside. So I do like this one as well. These are all 250 mils. I think they're, they all range about $27 or so. To me, they're worth it because they do last a long time. Like a bottle like this will last me close to a year, I would have to say. Um, so because of that, I, I think it's worth it because of that uh, fact, because, it, you know, they're pretty expensive, but because they do last quite a while for me, I don't now have to worry about buying toner until next year, maybe the year after, um, or close to the end of the year, uh, the end of next year, just because I have so much of it now, and they do last quite a while. The pumps on those are really fantastic, I find. Um, if you do find one that the pump is kind of like busted, it's very rare that I do find that. But if you do, just go back to Lush, return it. They'll return it for a fresh one and you can get a fresh one. They have no issues with that. Um, okay, so um, moving on. I am going to talk about some... Oh, I have to sneeze you guys. Don't you... I hate that. Um, side note, don't mind the no makeup. I have a little bit of lipstick on by Joseph Colors. This is in their their actual lipstick in Sorbet. Um, I came home from the gym. I washed, like I showered and I put on some serum on my face and I just kind of left it at that. I know I do have some dark circles under my eyes. That's hereditary. Um, but you know what? I have no problem showing you guys my actual bare face. I just find that there's days where I don't wear makeup and you know, that's okay. You all know it's okay not to wear makeup every day. If you need to, because you have events or you are getting photos taken or whatever the case is, that's okay too. But sometimes a girl just doesn't want to wear makeup to let her skin breathe. Just a disclaimer. Anyways, so the next things I picked up are I picked up a, I'm, in, I'm starting to get into um, face sheet masks, and you will see more of those in this haul. But this one is from the drugstore. It's called the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. The super hydrating sheet mask provides deep moisture. Um, this is pomegranate extract and hyaluronic acid. So this is a one-time use sheet mask. These are a little bit on the pricey side. I think they're like, they range between 5 to $8 a piece. So, I mean, ugh, Garnier man, like I can go to Winners and get a pack of five for $5.99 and I can use it five times. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the price wise, a little bit on the pricey side, I have to say. They're, they're price equivalent to the Sephora individual sheet masks. Um, are they good? I don't know yet. I will let you know. Um, this is the first one that I found here in Canada. It's been, it's, you know, sometimes Canada gets the new stuff that the States gets after the fact. So, um, if you guys are from the States and you have tried this, please let me know. I would love to know your thoughts on this because when I saw this, my heart just stopped. I was like, oh my God, this is, I think is the first, uh, drugstore brand that came out with a sheet mask too. So we will see about that. Now the next ones that I picked up are from Skin Republic Laboratories. I don't know where these are from. I have a feeling they are from Rexall. I'm not 100% sure. Um, these are the foot repair, 20 minute uh, hydrating treatments. So it's got uh, Jinko Biloba, green tea, peppermint, and shea butter, deeply moisturized to soothe, soften, dry, chap, crack heels. I got two of them. Um, so this is not supposed to peel your foot. Um, I do have one that does peel, which is from another, I think it's another brand completely, but this doesn't, this doesn't peel your feet. This just hydrates very, very deeply. And I bought two because I wanted to try one and then if it was really that good, I would end up using the next one closer to the wedding that I'm in. My cousin is getting married in September. So, um, you know, I'd have a backup to use right before the wedding. That way my feet don't look gross and crackly and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to try these. I tried one from another brand I was terrified of after I saw a label on there causing like cancer and shit. So I'm like, oh God, never buying that one again. So that one was in my last empties, I think, or the empties before that. If you guys haven't watched that, definitely go back on into my list and check for those empties videos. Um, but this is a different brand and they're a safer brand. So I'm going to see how this goes and I will keep you guys posted. You guys know that I always keep you posted. Okay, so um, a, a few, a few. I have tons of skincare crap in here. It's like not even funny. So I did pick up a um, trio from Sephora. This is the Origins Skin Starters Trio. It comes with a Origins Energizing Boosting Moisturizer. This is a one ounce. Then it comes with a gentle exfoliator and a balancing tonic toner. They're not large. Um, they're not large products by any means. Like they're they're like deluxe sample sizes. So I have never tried the Origins toner. My mom has because I've given one to her to try. Um, so I didn't get to try it. So this one I want to try. And the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer is one of my favorite moisturizers of all time. So for me to get an, uh, an ounce of that, I was so excited for. So I picked this up um, off the off the whim. So this was I think twenty five dollars Canadian. This is twenty dollars uh, American. So in case you guys are interested in, in wanting to try the brand, this is a good way of trying the brand. So you're not having to you know break the bank on full size products. So I do love the ginseng moisturizer from there. The next one that I actually picked up is the Youth to the People Superfood Youth Duo Mini. This is the age prevention cleanser and age prevention moisture cream. Now, um, I've heard, I've heard good things about this particular brand. Um, and 
funny enough, um, this is what they, so this is the uh, cleanser. It comes in an actual glass bottle. Like this is not plastic. This is glass. So I'm excited to try that. This particular brand really packs their skincare products with really rich, high antioxidants, um, which is a great thing. Um, this one is the Hyaluronic Green Tea Kale Spinach and Green Tea uh, Cream. I did pick this one up in full size. Um, that is actually on the way to me, but I wanted to have this size for traveling because I've heard so many good things. So I'm, I'm really excited to uh, dive into these as well. You guys, I'm a, I'm a skincare fanatic. I will spend my money on skincare more so than makeup if I have to. You know, I've, over the years, you, if you've watched me for a long time, or if you go back into my older videos, you know I've suffered a lot from cystic acne, which is very deep, painful cystic acne bumps. So, you know, I've gotten to a place with my skin where I can actually come on here with no makeup and I'm, I'm comfortable. So it's been a long journey, but I put a lot of heart sweat and tears into taking care of my skin over the last few years and that's why i am how i am with my skincare products so anyways moving along um i will let you guys know on the kale and the green tea cream uh, facial moisturizer and cleanser so this one is actually kind of something that i'm I've, I've tried before you know this is the peter thomas roth sample mask uh set so it comes with all of his masks in sample form i think they're all 0.5 no, these are all 0.47 fluid ounces, so 14 milliliters each, which is fine. So it comes with the Blue Marine Algae, the Rose Stem Cell uh, Bio Repair, the 24 Karat Gold Gel Mask, the Irish uh, More Mud Purifying Mask, the Cucumber Gel Mask, which I have tried, and I do love, I do have a big, humongous tub of this. This is one of my favorite hydrating masks that you take off, like you don't sleep in. And a tip for you all, if you do have the cucumber gel mask at home, uh, pop it into the fridge for maybe 10-15 minutes and then apply it and the coolingness on your face you will love. And then it comes also with the pumpkin enzyme mask which is also one of my favorites. It smells like a... Oh, I can't even describe. Pumpkin pie at its best. So this one is quite expensive too. I think the pumpkin one is like $72. I really want to get the full size of that but I'm holding off. I'm holding off. I do have a little one to, to you know, keep me, to tie me over for the month of October because I like, I don't know why but I like to use this one in October because it just, it reminds me of pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice latte. It just smells divine. Um, so I have tried these two here. The rest of these, these four I have not tried yet so that's why I, I really wanted the uh, sample set. I know I love these two so I know that I'll enjoy them but the other four I'd like to, you know, try out and see if I will like them. So I will keep you guys posted on those um okay so again i have picked up a uh, nyx version of the beauty blender it's just a it's a black one surprisingly so it looks similar to the beauty blender but i don't know if it's if it's the same texture or not i will let you guys know um i also picked up a set the karma kit and face mask set so it comes with an exfoliating face mask hydrating face mask antioxidant face mask and age-defying face masks so there's one, two, three, four. So there's four face masks in here. Um, to be totally honest with you, this was a hella expensive product, I'm not going to lie. I think I found this once at TJ Maxx, and I didn't bother to pick it up, and I should have. I know I should have, um, but I didn't. So um, I will let you guys know how I feel about these, um, and I will keep you posted. They are sheet masks, and they are Korean brand. So, you know, I've, so far, out of the Korean brand sheet masks that I've tried, I've never had a problem. So we'll see how these go, and I will keep you posted. So next up, I have this gorgeous NYX Cosmetics Lid Shadow Palette, the Lid Lingerie Palette. So I saw somebody doing a tutorial with this, and I can't find the video anymore, but she she used these colors. Like, she just, oh, I can't even describe. So she used the this color, I think, mixed in with this color or that color, I can't even remember, but she did an all-lid look with this, and it was stunning. So Canada doesn't carry this, unfortunately, where I've been able to find it. I can't find it in Canada, so I, I picked it up off of the Ulta website, and, um... I'm really excited to try this out. I thought it would have been bigger, which I don't mind it being this size because it's great for travel. Um, and you can definitely do simple looks with this and you can do smoky looks with this. So I'm really excited to dig my hands into this one. Um, okay, so again at Ulta, they carry e.l.f. products. So in order for me to try out their e.l.f. Um, skincare, because e.l.f. did come out with some skincare products, I tried their um, primer, which is not bad at all by any means, but I wanted to try their, like, their moisturizer, their cleanser, their eye cream, just to give me an idea of what, you know, what their brand, what their skincare line is about, because back in the day when I used to use e.l.f. in the beginning stages of makeup, they had, like, the basics, like, your brushes, your, your um, eyeshadows, your lipsticks, um, they didn't really have any skincare, so in Ulta, I found that they, they offered a, a kit like this. And when I saw the kit, I was like, damn, I need to try this. Now that I have the option to try, get a set that I can try everything, and they're all full-size products. Look at this, you guys. This is a full-size product in each one. So it comes with the cleanser. It comes with 
I think this is the eye cream. This is the eye cream, and this is the daily hydrating moisturizer. So I'm really excited to try this kit. I will let you know my thoughts on it because let's face it, Elf is a pretty affordable brand. And if you don't want to uh, break the bank on your skincare or you can't afford it, you know, at least there's other alternatives out there for you to use if you need to, you know, save a penny. So I'm just going to pull this back up. So this is what the set start. It looks like it's, it looks, it's called a hydrating starter set by Elf. So if you guys are on Ulta or you're online, check it out. Um, cleanse, nourish, moisturize, all full-size products, which is amazing. Um, and it looks like their ingredients are actually pretty decent for such an affordable brand. I don't see any mineral, mineral oil in here. So it looks like, um, it really does look like that they use really good um, ingredients compared to other drugstore uh, brands that I've seen use mineral oil. I try to stay far from mineral oil as much as I can. So um, just because it breaks me out a little bit. So this looks great. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to let you guys know how I get on with that. Now, um, my other, my other, I have been, I've been obsessed with, with scrubs, like body scrubs. Body scrubs are like, especially in the summertime, because I like to sloth off dead skin. I like to keep my skin smooth, but also in the winter, because I still work out all year round. I sweat, you know, I get grungy and, you know, a good body scrub is something that I need in my, in my hygiene routine. So I saw these on sale at Ulta and I just could not pass up. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Brazilian Nuts. And then this is the Shea Sugar Scrub in Tropical Mango. And then I found um, the Tree Hut Soothing Himalayan Salt Scrub in Cherry Blossom. So um, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure these are steel. Oh no, they're not steel. Ooh, this smells nice. So the Salt Scrub in Cherry Blossom smells fresh with a fruity kick. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to try that. I prefer salt scrubs for my body, but I've have, I've heard all kinds of good stuff about the tree hut sugar scrubs on YouTube. So I, because they were on sale, they were like eight bucks a piece. And I think normally they go for a lot more. Um, I figured I might as well just take advantage of it. So this is the nut one. Oh, you guys, the Brazilian nut one smells like cocoa, like chocolate. Oh my gosh. I wonder if there's any cocoa in here. There's shea butter, avocado oil. There's orange oil, walnut shells, which is great. I don't see cocoa, but it really does smell like chocolate. The Brazilian nut smells like chocolate, you guys. And then the tropical mango. Oh, yeah, the tropical mango smells divine as well. I'm glad I picked up these particular scents. So um, I will let you all know how I feel about these scrubs. I have, I'm good now for scrubs to last me probably a year. I know, that sounds crazy. Um, but... It is true, unfortunately. So I'm going to be scrubbing and, you know, letting you guys know my thoughts um, as I start using this stuff. I'm not done. I hope you guys know that. I am not done. This was just the first box that I went through. So I am going to push that aside. Now we're going to go and start into this box here. <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. I'm sorry. We're 26 minutes in. I might fast forward this a little bit uh, to speed it up. But if you guys need a break, now is the time to pause. Go grab another drink, another snack. Um, now come back. All right, so here we go. This is this is another this is going to be another one. So um, now keep in mind, all the stuff is a collective haul, so I didn't buy this all in one shot. Just so you know, I'm, I wish I was that rich, but I'm not. Um, so starting off with the Beauty Blender Summer Fling Three Makeup Sponges, I had to top off my makeup sponges because I am using them very religiously. So you know, I'm noticing that once you use them to a certain point, you have to kind of let it go because they start to fall apart, especially after your three month, the three month rule. Um, I try to extend my sponges to four to five months when I really do deep cleansing in the sponge, only because these things are cheap, you know, I can't afford every three months to go out and buy a new one. So um, I try to extend, you know, four to five months, I really do deep clean my sponges very religiously to make sure they're very clean and they're, you know, they're not uh, full of germs. So um, definitely a must in my routine. Love the Beauty Blender and I do love some of the dupes that I found for it. Um, or I wouldn't say that they're dupes, but they're very um, affordable alternatives. Okay. So I did get this at Sephora. The summer one I think was on sale because obviously summer is now coming to an end. Um, but if you do go back and check, it could be still there. Um, another thing I picked up is a repurchase. This is my Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. You guys know if you've been with me for a while, this is my Holy Grail Clearing Treatment Mud Mask. I cannot live without this in my collection. When I get breakouts or I get um, reactions to anything that I put on my face and it causes a, a blemish or, you know, I can, I can feel the blemish happening, this is what I use and it will knock it out of the park. I spot treat with this and I use it strictly on my T-zone area as well. So I don't really do a full mask of this. I only do this in my T-zone area or in places where I'm breaking out and I need to solely treat that particular area of my face. It is worth it. I know a lot of people say, you know, it's so expensive. Like in Canada, this is $79. But I'll tell you something. One, Glam Glow has been 
listening to their consumers and they have increased the amount of product you get in a jar. So now instead of a one ounce, you're getting a 1.7 ounce for your money. The price has not increased. They have increased the product amount that you're getting. So that is kind of, um, it's kind of good in a way to consumers. You're getting more for your, the money you're spending. Uh, two, if you're only using it to treat certain areas of your face or just your T-zone, this will last you a long ass time. Okay. I promise you that. Three, if you are not 100% sure, you don't want to dive in to buy the full size, they do have the smaller sizes for $20 at Sephora that you don't have to commit to the full 80 You just buy the small $20 size, you try it out. If you love it, then you commit to the $80 one. You don't have to commit to the $80 one until you test it out yourself. So, you know, there's different different ways of going about it. I personally love it. My skin loves it. It helps me out when I do have those, those really bad breakout days. So, um, oh boy, where do I even begin when I look at this particular box? <laughs> Um, so another Peter Thomas Roth uh, product is a set. This is the Cleanser Squad set. This is, um, it comes with four different cleansers, as you can see. So it's got the Rose Stem Cell Cleanser, the Irish More Mud Cleanser, the Glycolic Solutions Cleanser, and the Anti-Aging Cleanser. So I have tried the Anti-Aging Cleanser before. Um, this has glycolic acids and fruit extracts. This is really nice, but you have to be careful when you're using those acids in your cleanser that you're not mixing other acids in your skincare, like serums and all that kind of stuff, because you could break out. So just be wary when you're, you know, using acids in your cleansers just so that you're not mixing the wrong acids with your like cream and serum products because I've had that happen before and it ain't pretty I'll tell you that right now so these are pretty decent sizes um I'm just going to show you one as an example they're actually pretty decent sizes this two fluid ounces will definitely last you um quite a while for cleansers now I'm not one to spend a lot of money on facial cleansers because I think that's the one thing you don't need to spend a lot of money on but because I'm a beauty lover and I like to provide you guys my feedback on you know, products so that I can tell you if it's worth it or not. Um, you know, that's why I picked it up. But on a regular basis, I wouldn't always, you know, use a high end cleanser because I don't feel the need for one. Um, where you should be spending your money in skincare is your serums, your, um, your oils and your facial moisturizers. So stuff that you actually leave on your face, not the stuff that you actually just like take off your face. Does that make any sense? So, um, this was a, a great set. I think it was like $40 for all four. $40? Maybe it was like $34 Canadian. I cannot remember exactly. Um, but I thought it was worth it because you get two, four, six, eight fluid ounces of product and you can try out different, um, different formulations within the brand. So that's why I really wanted to try that. Um, here is a repurchase. This is the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. I love this stuff. I use it to wash my Beauty Blender and my makeup brushes. Um, mostly my Beauty Blender because I use my makeup brushes with like hand soap or antibacterial soap from like dish soap. Um, but I do love this for my sponges and I did repurchase. So you guys know that is a definite love. Um, another repurchase, you guys. This is the uh, Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I am currently on the ends of the one that I own right now, so this is a repurchase. This is what it looks like. It comes with a pump. Um, I love this stuff. This is great for hydrating the skin before applying makeup. It doesn't make my skin feel greasy. It doesn't make my skin um, look dry. It really makes my skin makeup ready, and that's what I love about it because it, it gives you everything you need without the greasy and oiliness, and that's what this is great for. It is expensive. It's uh, 1.5, 1.35 fluid ounces, and it's $40 Canadian. Yes, it is expensive, but I think it's worth it, especially when you're doing a lot of event makeup. That's just my personal opinion. Um, alrighty, let's keep it moving. So the next thing I have here, and I've already opened up and, and been using because let's face it, I, I can, some of the stuff I've opened up and used because I, you know, and I'll tell you if I've used it and if I do like it. I'm gonna do a whole video on this particular product, so I'm not gonna really get into the nitty gritty, but it's the ABH Subculture Palette. Okay, that's what it looks like. I have used it maybe twice, maybe three times. You need a lot of time to play with this puppy, a lot of time. This is, you know. The, the reviews are real when it comes to the fallout, but they are creamy. They're very hard to blend um, in a nutshell. This is just in a nutshell. I'm not even getting into detail. They're very creamy. They're very hard to blend, which is strange because usually the creamy, the shadow, the easier it is to blend, but in this case, it's not. These are actual pure pigments, in my opinion. So um, this is not a typical eyeshadow. These are pure pigments. They're beautiful colors, great for even fall. I did a look using this shade, this shade, and maybe this shade. I can't even remember, to be totally honest. Um, but you need a lot of extra time with this with this product so it came with the brush the brush is somewhere over there um i will let you guys know further my opinions i still want to work with it a bit more but you know it's true it is a harder palette to work with and not just anybody can work with this type of formulation especially if, if you are not used to working with eyeshadows so as a beginner i wouldn't suggest this as a beginner palette but if you love the colors you you have the patience to do the blending work um you know it could be an option it, it is sister it is sisters with the modern renaissance palette so you can use both if you do have both would I purchase this again? Probably not. It was a hard palette. It is, it is a hard palette to work with, but I, I'm not giving up on it just yet. I will tell you that right now. I'm not giving up on it just yet. 
Um, okay, so um, with that said, I do have a couple of a couple more foot masks, believe it or not. So I have two exfoliating foot masks by the Life brand. This is Lion Caviar and Citrus Extracts. These are from Shoppers Drug Mart. If you guys are from Canada, you know that Shoppers Drug Mart has the Life brand. That is their like brand, their in in house brand. It's a little more cheaper. Um, these are exfoliating. Have not tried them yet. Will let you know what I think of them when I do try them. I'm kind of afraid to try exfoliating foot masks right now just because I'm in between events and my next event will be, um, middle of September and I just don't want my feet to, to, you know, take two weeks to start peeling and then I have an event that I, my feet look like shit. So I'm kind of waiting for the wedding to be over. That way I can try the exfoliating foot masks and I don't have to worry about, you know, my feet looking weird at a special event. Um, the last one is the moisturizing foot mask, which I would definitely try um, beforehand just because it's moisturizing. It's not going to, you know, make my feet peel or anything. So I will let you know about that as well. Okay. So, um, what else did I, okay. Drugstore, drugstore. So I picked up a repurchase and you guys, I am so surprised you know what? I'm surprised and I'm not surprised. My repurchase is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Match in the shade 106 Sun Beige. You guys, when I wear this at, at special occasions, I get so many um, compliments. My skin it looks airbrush. Um, my skin looks flawless. What did you do? What did you use? It's this puppy right here. I know. Surprising. I know. Um, but it does the job for special occasions and it's so affordable, so why not? Um, this is a repurchase. I'm almost done my other one of these, so you will see one of these in a empties very soon. But with that, I also decided to pick up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. And this is in the shade Sun Beige as well. This is to prevent shine control. Um, it helps with texture and the wear is up to 16 hours. The finish is a matte finish. Um, it's supposed to be long lasting, so we'll see. I've never tried a L'Oreal powder, so we'll, I'll let you guys know um, how that goes. Um, okay, so uh, I also picked up, <laughs> guys, we're hitting 40 minutes, and I'm really sorry this is taking so long, but I have a shit ton more to show you, so please bear with me. Um, the NARS, what is this? Soft Matte Complete Concealer, comes in a pot, this one's in custard. I do have the Creamy Concealer in custard, and I will let you guys know how I feel about this. I took this out of the box already, um, but I will I will let you know how I feel about this. I've heard good things, so we will, we will see how this goes. Um, I made a few uh, purchases at MAC Cosmetics. So the first thing I picked up was my strobe creams. They are in gold light and peach light. So I like using strobe creams on really, really thick matte foundations that I want to try and bring back some radiance to without it looking too oily. And this is the perfect way to do it. I do like gold light and I do like peach light. It kind of depends on the mood I'm in on what I want on my face to glow. It doesn't give a too over the, over the top glow. It gives enough glow radiance that your skin just looks healthy. It looks like it's, you know, healthy. It's not too bad. Um, you know, it just, it looks healthy. And that's why I love this, especially in the winter time when my skin is extra dry. These are amazing to use under foundation. Um, I picked up a matte bronze by MAC. I uh, have always wanted this bronzer. I, I've been, it's funny, um, MAC artists have used this on me and I've loved it and I've never had a chance to pick it up until now. So I did pick that up. So that is definitely um, exciting for me. I can't put anything back in this package. Um, I picked up a MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NC37. I used to be an NC35 and because I'm dark from like I'm dark from like you know being outside this is this is now my new color nc37 so um you know i this was my very first foundation back in the day in high school days i had finished a bottle and then i never went back to it because i was trying new things and then i you know i said to myself man i miss it i need to bring it up again so i did pick up another one um and then i picked up a, a blush in the shade modern mandarin um I love the MAC blushes. I just absolutely think they're stunning. I love the orangey ones. So this one is in Modern Mandarin. Just beautiful. It's like an orange, but on the skin, it looks like, oh, it just looks beautiful. Like it gives like this, this like sun-kissed orange. I can't even describe it. It just looks beautiful. So I'm excited for that one. Um, I can't, you know what? I'm really excited. I'm, I'm showing you guys this now because I want to like start opening stuff and using it. So this is kind of giving me that, that thing. Um, oh God. Uh, so, what else did I buy? I did purchase two fragrances from MAC. This is the Candy Yum Yum uh, fragrance, and then this one is the Creme de Nude. I love both of them. I have had my eyes on these for over a year since they released, and I, I just love them. So, I'm excited that I do have the full sizes of these now. Um, I also picked up a NYX powdered matte, but not flat foundation powder. This is in the shade Medium Beige. Usually in the wintertime, I will start to kind of lighten up a little bit. I love how certain things are... <gasps> It broke. No way. Okay, so this broke. I'm wondering if I should go return it. I think I will. I think, I think I will. 
So this one I'm going to return because it did break. So I'm going to see if I can exchange it for a fresh one. Um, the next thing I picked up was a MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC40. I love this to set my foundation. Um, some skincare products, you guys. I picked up the Drunk Elephant V Hydrant Intensive Hydration Gel Quenches and Illuminates Pineapple Ceramide. You guys, this shit is expensive, but I tried it on the back of my hand, and it made my skin look phenomenal. So we will... We will let you guys know on this. This is a 1.69 fluid ounce bottle for like over $60. It is hella expensive. Then there's the Tasha Balanced Pore Refining Water Gel Moisturizer. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce. This one's also hella expensive, but I've heard great, great things about it. So I will keep you guys posted there. Um, I also picked up an Anastasia Blush Trio. This is in the shade Peachy Love. You guys know I love my peaches for my eyes, for my cheeks. I'm a peachy lover in general. The packaging is beautiful, very sleek, very high-end. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but this is what the shades look like, just so you guys can take a look. I don't mean to blind you. You guys can take a look. Gorgeous. Great for travel because it's such a cute compact. Um, I will let you guys know how I feel about that when I do start using it. Uh, such a beautiful compact, such a beautiful compact. Very high-end. You know, aside from all of the negativity that's going around with the subculture palette, I love ABH Cosmetics, and I think, you know, every cosmetic brand will end up coming out with a dud sooner or later, and it doesn't necessarily mean that their whole brand is shit, just so you guys know. Um, and I really do love Anastasia products as a whole. So just because the, uh, the subculture palette was not, like, their best, doesn't mean that the rest of their stuff isn't good, just so you know. Um, okay, so I have made a few uh, trips to Sephora, as you know. So I do have four deluxe size samples of the clear brow gels. They're like 100 point perks each. So I have four of these. These should last me for a while. I don't use normally the clear brow gel. I usually use the tinted one. But because these were available as 100 point perks, I figured, hell, might as well. This will last me for quite a while. And then that way I don't have to dive into my backup of my chocolate tinted brow gel just yet. So um, and I do think I have one more clear brow, brow gel on the way because I placed an order at Sephora this morning. I know, this is really bad. But they had four times the points. I couldn't say no, right? Anyways. <laughs> Um, so I did pick up some stick foundations, you guys. I don't know if I showed you this, but this was the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I have mine in the shade Medium Sand. I also try, I also uh, picked up the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Natural Tan. The stick foundations are becoming the new, the newest thing lately, so I wanted to try them out. Then there's the Anastasia Stick Foundation, and I picked up the shade Golden. So I will let you guys all know how I feel about these stick foundations that everybody keeps talking about. Um, alrighty, so I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Um, okay, so I have a deluxe size sample of the Benefit Roller Lash. This was another, like, you know, sample from the box. And then this was a deluxe size sample, a one ounce uh, of the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. I do have one of these already, and I have been using it. I love this stuff. This is great. This is a, a good alternative to that, that black peeling mask that everybody sees on, you know, social media, Instagram. The one that, like, when you peel off and it hurts like a bitch, this does not hurt like a bitch, I tell you right now. The one that you're seeing on Instagram that everybody is talking about, the, the luminizing mask, the black one that comes in, like, a big bottle, got some white writing with green on it. Um, that one hurts really bad, feels like you're waxing your face. This one does not hurt. Bosha did it right. And yes, you do have to pay a little bit more money for this one because it is higher end, but it's worth it if you're not, like, it's worth it because you're not ruining your skin by feeling like you're waxing off your face. Just bottom line. So when I saw this, I wanted to pick it up because it is my one of my favorite peeling masks. Um, the, the large one I think is like $50, like the full size one. I'm trying to hold off to buy that one because I still have the other black mask from the cheaper brand. And I also have my Freeman um, peel mask that I'd like to finish before I buy a full size of that one. Um, okay, so I have, I'm almost done you guys. I'm almost done, I'm getting there. This is gonna be like an hour and 15 minute haul, but you know what? I'm sure you guys enjoy it. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. You guys, I saw this, I saw Rosita Applebaum uh, haul this and when she explained to me what like when she explained in her video what this smelled like I was like oh hell to the gods I need to I need to find this and I need to test it out I opened it up I smelled it smells divine smells like caramel the lip caramel hydrating bomb yes please it smells like caramel so I do have this I plan on cracking it open um, fresh um, fresh products are more natural so you definitely have to use them up before they go bad um, kind of like the lush products so this will be opened very soon um, I did purchase the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. Um, I do have another Loose Setting Powder by RCMA coming in the mail soon, so I, I haven't really opened this this yet. Um, I believe it's still sealed. Yeah, it's still sealed. Um, so I haven't used this yet, and um, I'm trying to wait for my other one to come in to see if, you know, to do a comparison. Um, this apparently lasts for a long time because you get so much product. Uh, you get one ounce of product, so, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I will keep you guys posted. Everybody raves about that particular, that particular one. Um... Okay, so I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know why. 
I have a Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper in Dream Champagne Bellini. This one I had was I was dying for the longest time. They had sold out and then they restocked. So this is what it looks like. It it looks like it looks fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. So let let's all swatch this together because I have not swatched this yet on on my skin. Um, I just oh yes, girl. Do you see that? I think I just had an orgasm. I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't smell like much. Kind of like vanilla. But do you see that? Oh, I could stare at this all damn day. That's what the packaging looks like. Champagne Dream Bellini. I'm excited I picked that one up. I only wanted one because, like, realistically, I'm not going to use all of them. I just wanted one, and that is the one that I'm glad I picked up. So, holla. Um, I... <laughs> I'm almost done, you guys. We're, we're plowing through, I promise. Um, I'm also picked up the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Creme in the shade Fawn Over Me. Amy Masiato here on YouTube keeps talking about this. I have yours to try uh, in this formula, and it's really, really nice. The formula is very long-lasting. This one is more of a peachy. This is more of a peachy uh, nude. And it just looks better with my skin tone, I personally think. Yours to try, I think this is called. No, this is Fawn Over Me. So the yours to try that I have is more of a beigey, true nude, and it, it's very, very pale. So this one is more of like a pinky peach, whereas the other one is like very beigey peach. So um, the formulation cities are really nice. I do enjoy them. They're not matte. They are a creme liquid lipstick, but they are long-lasting. So they do stay nicely on the lips, and they don't flare out or feather out or anything like that. So um, I do love this formula. It is expensive, but it is well worth it, especially if you don't have a ton of stuff in your collection and you are going to, you know, continuously use it. It's definitely worth it. Um, but that, oh, that shade, you guys. Look at these two. Becca, Marc Jacobs. Just saying. Um, then I have two Marc Jacobs liquid uh, lip high shine lock gloss lip lacquer. I can't talk today. High shine gloss lip lacquer. I got two. I got one in Pretty Thing and one in Raw Raw. Sorry, I thought somebody was at my door. Um, so this is in Pretty Thing. Look at the packaging. So luxurious. We're gonna we're gonna swatch them on the side of my on my hand. Oh yeah, they do have like a minty a mintiness to them, but very very faint. Nothing too extravagant. Excuse my phone, that's freaking out. So that one is so, so pretty. That is called Pretty Thing. It's a gloss, so it's it's got a little bit of pigmentation, but it's not pigmented, like it's not opaque. It's got a, it's got a clearness to it, so it's got a hue of a, pink, a pinkness. And then Raw Raw, I believe, is more of a peachy shade because I wanted one that was a little more on the peachier side. Um, there is Raw Raw. And... This one has a little bit more pigment, but it's, again, more of the peachier side. So, again, you know, very two pretty colors. Those are something that I can use on an everyday basis when I want a little bit of gloss. Um, I do have enough glosses now, so I don't think I'll be picking up any further more um, in the future. Um, these these, sh these shades are just stunning. I'm sorry, you guys, they're stunning. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you a couple more things, and then we are done. So I found at TJ Maxx, you guys, the Needles No More 3D Filler by Dr. Brandt. This is the filler mask, the, the large size mask, the 1.7 fluid ounce mask that is over $110 at Sephora. I picked mine up at TJ Maxx for $29.99. So there are really good deals at TJ Maxx. If you guys are in the area, go pop in if you have time. You know, look around. You may find something that you never would have ever thought in your one right mind that you would find. So this one I found on sale. I picked it up right away. Um, it comes with the full size... Uh, mask and it also comes with the brush that it's supposed to come with so you know I'm telling you this is so damn worth it um, and then also at TJ Maxx I found the dark circles away eye serum brighten smooths hydrates this is um, obviously an under eye serum so I, I picked it up for $19.99 and I'm pretty sure this ranges for about like $80 so it's definitely worth going to TJ Maxx to find things that you may never think you will find so pick that up too um, I picked up a small version of the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment in the Sonic version. This has got like the blue. Um, they used to have the blue in the big tub, but I, I kind of missed out on that, so I picked up the small one. Um, it's just fun to kind of change up the color on it. This is great for pre-makeup application. The Gravity Mud Firming Treatment is great for pre-makeup application. I cannot stress you enough. That is what it's intended for. Um, so I'm excited to use this on, right before my next event. So let's uh, hold on to that. Now, I picked up two Bobbi Brown um, items that I've always had on my list for now two years now. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is great, apparently, for uh, underneath makeup as a primer. And then I also picked up the Hydrating Eye Cream. This is Mineral Water and Aloe Vera Enriched. Um, I, I needed a full-size eye cream because I do have sample sizes of eye creams, but I do need a full one just, you know, when I'm done my backups of my sample size eye creams. So I am excited to, to you know, try these. I, I hear good things about this stuff, so we'll see how that goes. And then I also picked up an Urban Decay Makeup Rehab uh, Prep 
Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. This is encapsulated water, low alkaline, hip, hypotonic. So this is a 1.94 fluid ounce. That's almost two ounces of product, which I find very, very high for a facial moisturizer. Um, it's supposed to be for underneath makeup, just like any other hydrating primer. Um, I've heard good things about this too, and I've never tried any Urban Decay skincare products. I've only have, I've only ever had their makeup stuff. So we'll see how their skincare uh, line goes. And you guys, finally, my last product. We're hitting almost at 60 minutes. I am so sorry. Um, my last product is the one and only Sol de Janeiro. Is this Sol de Janeiro? No. What is it called? It's the Bum Bum Cream, but it's from what? What's the brand? Yeah, Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. You guys have had many, many samples of this stuff. It is amazing. Do I think it firms your ass? No. I will be very honest. No, I don't. But the scent? Huh. The scent of this is divine. Everybody talks about the scent, and it's true. The hype is real when it comes to the scent. Don't buy this because, you you know, it tells you it's going to firm your ass cheeks. Nothing will firm your ass cheeks unless you actually exercise. Sorry, I'm being honest. But if you want to enjoy a luxurious body cream, this one, by far, beats them. This one is very high standard up there with my Laura Most Mercy A body butter because this one is just as good. The scent is divine, lingers all day into the next day. It is one of those scents that will stay on you until you shower it off. It is beautiful. Love it. I'm glad I have a full size. Would I consider repurchasing in the, in the future? I may possibly, but I probably would wait for a sale because this is hell of expensive. Just saying. Anyways, you guys, that was my full out massive haul. I've never done a haul this big in my entire YouTube career. Um... It was, it was, it was very duly needed for me because, you know, I had gone through a lot of stuff in the previous years and I was ready to treat myself and this is how I did it. So everybody deserves a splurge every now and then. And this was my splurge. Now I'm going on a no buy for a while. Um, not a particular no buy, but a low buy. So if I'm, you know, if I only buy anything, if I run out of something that I, you know, I use every day. Aside from that, I will not be overspending on makeup or skincare at the moment because now I have enough to last me for a, quite a few months. So anyways, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me comments down below. Whatever you see here, if you tried it, let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, I love talking to you guys in the comment section. Please don't be, um, don't be shy. And uh, if you have not already, please like this this video. Subscribe if you're not. You will get more um, more content out of me. You will get more hauls now and then. I won't be doing hauls like I I have been over the last few months. Um, but you will still get small hauls here and there. So please keep stay tuned. Subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Um, there will be giveaways coming up very soon. I have a big giveaway in the near future around the holiday season. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone. Mwah.